Welcome back. Arthritis is perhaps the most crippling of all degenerative diseases, and it is believed to get worse during the cold season. But is there any medical proof to this? Well, joining us now is Dr. Emmanuel Acedillo, an orthopedic surgeon from the Medical City. Good morning, Doc. Good morning, Paulo. All right, let's get to the nitty-gritty here. Uh, arthritis, we've got several issues here. Arthritis, uh, is it affected by cold weather? I suppose you know the, the best place to start is really to describe the condition. I mean, what exactly are we talking about when we say somebody has arthritis. Okay, uh, arthritis, first of all, is uh, a condition that affects joints. Mm -hmm. A joint is any part of the body where uh, there's a moving part, mm -hmm. like the spine has a lot of joints, all right. or the, the hinge of our jaw is a joint, mm -hmm. and the most common joints that are affected by arthritis are the, the knees, mm -hmm. uh, the hips, you know, the hands, uh -huh. okay. So arthritis is a condition where uh, there's inflammation All right. of, of the joint, which causes pain. Mm -hmm. okay? And there are different kinds of arthritis. Mm -hmm. no? There are arthritis due to uh, um, infection, arthritis due to degeneration, mm -hmm. and arthritis due to uh, um, an immune uh, problem. All right. And uh, even uh, the most... Uh, popularly known as uh, what you eat, like gout, which is caused by <coughs> uric acid. It's a form of arthritis. It's a, well. also a form of arthritis. All right. Uh, sh uh, oftentimes, uh, you know, the, the term uh, arthritis, rheumatism, these are sort of interchangeable for a lot of people, yes, you know. Yes. You have generally have a, a little bit of an ache and pain and mm -hmm. you're, ah, I'm, I'm ako, ako. Yes, yes. Uh, are, is it the same thing? Are they interchangeable? Okay. Uh, in the vernacular, uh, rayuma, mm -hmm. no? is uh, generally used by most people as a, as you said, uh, just to, to put a label on anything that causes body aches and joints and pains. Okay. But medically, arthritis is uh, limited really to, to, to the joints. Mm -hmm. Okay. The most common form of arthritis is degenerative. All right. That means wear and tear on the joint. Oh, don't I know it. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, arthritis as well, not necessarily, uh, I think this is what we're getting here at here, is not necessarily limited to older people. I mean, generally when you say joint pain, arthritis, mm -hmm. or, or uh, incorrectly rheumatism mm -hmm. uh, interchangeably, yes. you generally think it's an old person's disease. Uh, I mean, I've, I've been, well, okay, I'm not, I'm not all that young, but I've been told that I have an arthritic condition on my knees, and it's mm -hmm. basically... Uh, it's just wear and tear. The cartilage is sort of just worn down and, it's, yes. and it becomes a, a bit of a problem. Uh, one, one thing, though, that you often hear is uh, when the weather is a certain way, when it's mm -hmm. rainy and damp, generally people will say, oh, my, my, my arthritis is acting yes. up or here come the cold months again. Looks like I'm going to have to brace up for my uh, arthritis and that sort of thing. Is there any concrete connection between weather uh, and the drop in temperature and whether or not your arthritis will act up? Okay, let's assume that uh, cold weather does affect arthritis and mm -hmm. causes, uh, makes it worse. Now, uh, then uh, it should be that those who live in the tropics should not be affected by arthritis as much as those who live in temperate uh, countries. Sounds, it sounds logical. Sounds uh, logical, right? right? But actually, uh, recent studies, they did it in Argentina, mm -hmm. uh, southern, uh, in northern Argentina, and in South Florida. Mm -hmm. And they dealt with uh, older people. All right. And then they found out that it, it doesn't re there's no real correlation with the weather. Okay. Uh, with the te temperature. So whether mm -hmm. you live in a tropical country or a, or a temperate country. All right. Uh, they think it's mostly because of the change in the weather, mm -hmm. change in the humidity, change in the pressure. Uh, for example, change in pressure, they think it's because when, when the, once the uh, barometric pressure goes down, mm -hmm. it allows the uh, tissues to get more fluid because less pressure. So an inflamed joint already is already uh, has uh, already an amount of uh, fluid in it. Mm -hmm. The lower pressure will uh, will cause more fluid to go into it, causing more distension, swelling, more, more, swelling, more, more swelling, and more pain. pain. All right. Uh, so that is probably the most concrete connection. Yes. You can uh, make. 
Probably. All right. Nothing is yet uh, exactly proven. Okay. Things are always things are always moving. Um, what what uh, what is probably the most common cause of arthritis? Uh, I mean, obviously we we're all going to get old, and you know wear and tear does happen. But you you were talking about other forms of arthritis, which are probably sort of more avoidable. Uh, what can we do to? Okay. To the uh, arthritis. The, the most common kind is degenerative. Mm -hmm. Wear and tear. All right. Okay. And although that uh, a lot of old people have it, mm -hmm. age is not really a cause of uh, degenerative arthritis, but it is associated with age. All right. There are a lot of old people without who li who have no arthritis. Uh -huh. Okay. But and uh, but you can, uh, aside from degenerative, you have what we call post traumatic. Okay. Okay. These are uh, those who are engaged heavily in sports, mm -hmm. or those who uh, have a had a um, motorcycle vehicle or accident mm -hmm. several years ago okay. uh, it damaged the, 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 the joint mm -hmm. so wow, I'm a candidate for both <laughs> all right um, running is huge now I mean there's mm -hmm. a lot of people running mm -hmm. uh, what are the more common types of, of uh, arthritis that you're seeing nowadays in your practice well running per se will not cause arthritis immediately mm -hmm. it may uh, damage the joint especially okay. if let's say you have wrong technique okay uh, uh, Special, special wrong technique, mm -hmm. or if you try to get into it too fast, All right. okay, that may damage the joints, but it may affect you uh, years or decades into the future. Mm -hmm. But immediately, it will not cause arthritis unless you have a previous problem already. Mm -hmm. What in your practice? What's the most common type that you see? Is there is there such a thing as like a common type? Yes, of arthritis? Uh, the most common I see are still uh, degenerative arthritis mm -hmm. and uh, gout. All right, gout from uric acid. What can we do in, in terms of if gout? You know, that's generally connected to the type of diet that we yes, have. Yes. Uh, what, are, what are some of the things that we can be doing to prevent that? Well, uh, gout is uh, usually a disorder where you, uh, the body cannot process uric acid, mm -hmm. which is mainly from the diet. Mm -hmm. okay? It affects mainly males. No? Women can be affected, but l uh, a lot less than males. All okay? right. <laughs> and it can affect males as early as in their late teens. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, um, so you, the best thing to do is to avoid the kind of foods that are rich, rich in uric acid. Okay. Um, you also mentioned, uh, I, was, I was curious, you picked my curiosity when you said there's a, an inf a, a, a form of arthritis that is uh, connected to a, an infection or that, that, that type oh, of yeah, thing? Oh yeah, of course. If you have uh, uh, a bacteria mm -hmm. which enters your, uh, your joint, because the joint is very sterile, okay. no? the, the thing with cartilage is it's, it doesn't have a, a blood supply. Mm -hmm. So that's why if it gets damaged, it doesn't repair itself. Okay. So once you have arthritis which has this damaged the, the cartilage, All right. it's already uh, there's no way to get that back. Mm -hmm. Okay. The only, the best thing that you can do is to prevent it from progressing, but you can uh, you cannot get the cartilage back once mm -hmm. it's been damaged. Um, so in when you have infection, let's say for bacteria, the mm -hmm. bacteria when it enters the joint not only damages the cartilage itself, but the body's reaction to the, car to the bacteria is very strong and can damage the joint itself. All right. Uh, so once you, you, you do develop aches and pains, we're all going to develop aches and pains. When, when do you know, uh, when should you be seeking sort of uh, medical advice when it comes to these things? Is there, is there a point where, you know, any old ho home remedy is going to work? Or should, as, as soon as you start feeling joint pain, should you be seeking medical help? What should okay. people be doing? Uh, well, m the main thing, uh, the main symptom of arthritis, especially degenerative arthritis, is pain, mm -hmm. which causes a. Uh, it's a qu um, first of all, it's a quality of life issue. All right. Okay, you're you you won't be able to do the what your usual activities, mm -hmm. so that decreases your activities. Uh, for the old people, that means less interaction with their family. They right. can't go out anymore because of the pain. Mm -hmm. No, uh, now. Uh, Frankly speaking, if I in my uh, if I were if I was a patient, knowing what I know, mm -hmm. as soon as uh, I have something that will af that affects my activities already, I should seek treatment already. Okay, what sort of treatments uh, are there out there for people who okay, are uh, uh, short of surgery? Mm -hmm. No, uh, there are many things like physical therapy to increase the strength of the muscles mm -hmm. and maintain the uh, maintain the uh, um, motion of the joints. Okay, the other things are. Um, um, well, there's been a lot of things about supplements. Okay. Yeah. What's to, what's the lowdown on that? Well, uh, the latest uh, 
um, the latest data shows mm -hmm. that it's not yet proven to work, but it may work. So it's uh, so at this point nothing to lose. You, you might you might take except that your point money. Of view. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you might take that point. Of but view. the mm -hmm. proven thing to improve the uh, the the function of the joint mm -hmm. is to lubricate the inside of the joint by directly uh, injecting a sort of lubricant, which mm -hmm. we call hyaluronic acid, okay. into the, the joint itself. Frequently, this is done for the knee and sometimes the hips. Okay, so this is obviously not something you do yourself at home. It's not as easy ah, yes, as popping yes. a pill. Mm -hmm. uh, best thing to do is, of course, uh, seek uh, uh, treatment from the experts. Yeah. And uh, we've had the pleasure of having one of the experts down here with us this morning. Thank you very much, Dr. Emmanuel Acedillo, orthopedic surgeon from the Medical City. Thanks for giving us the lowdown there, Doc. Okay. Thank you, Paulo. Thank you. Yeah.